What's good, y'all? Hey, Zo, back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there. So in this video, I'm gonna be reacting to Logan Paul is going through weed withdrawals again. We're gonna see what he's talking about. I made a video on Logan Paul about a month ago, talking about his struggles quitting weed, always irritated, his dependency, all that stuff. So if you ain't seen that video, check it out. But yeah, we're gonna see what he's talking about in this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Check out my quitting weed playlist if you need some help quitting weed. Um, follow me on Instagram and Patreon for more videos and content. Let's get into it, y'all. I stopped smoking weed. I didn't. I, I didn't realize. Like, why do you smoke weed? It's so bad for you. You smoke weed? No, no, me. I don't smoke weed. You, you're a pie. You're a pie. You're a pie <laughs> bro, bro. So I stopped cold turkey. It's the only way. It's the best way. But also, it sucks. You have withdrawal. That's facts right there. Cold turkey, the best way. I ain't gonna lie to you. I had so many times in the past where I tried the moderation, tried that moderation route, tried to cut back, tried to not buy as much, tried to not smoke as much. It never really worked. It never really worked for me. And many people that come inside my comment section, my DMs, saying they tried moderation as well, majority of the time it don't work. So I advise any of y'all that want to quit smoking weed, cold turkey the best way, for sure. Draws, huh? The first night I was up till 5 a.m. just shaking in bed like a little baby. My throat starts hurting. I have, wait, wait, wait. I, meth or fucking? I what's have on? no appetite. I have no appetite. I cannot eat. My sleep schedule is messed up. I have no appetite. I'm nauseous, brother. I oh my god, you're pregnant. I'm yeah, man. When I was smoking weed, y'all, I used to always smoke at night for sure, because I wouldn't be able to sleep without it. So, you know, I quit, when I quit smoking weed for real, for real, like last time, bro, what I did is to get sleep, because I was depending on it for sleep. What I did to get sleep was use my energy throughout the day. I was always going hiking, going outside, started playing basketball again. I was just being very active, y'all. So if you having a problem getting sleep after you quit smoking weed, you gotta be active during the day. Go play some basketball, go hiking, get in the gym, go for runs. You gotta find a way to use that energy, bro. You gotta find a way to use that energy, all right? Yeah, anybody else who already have a success story of quitting weed, how did you get sleep after quitting weed? Comment down below for the people that's gonna come across this channel and in the same situation. Comment down below what helps you get sleep after quitting weed, all right? Brushing my teeth, and if the toothbrush makes its way too far back and hits my molars, I gag, bro. I'm brushing my teeth and I'm like, Ugh. and Josie's like, what's happening? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just a, I thought I was a grown man, but um, wow, it really is a drug. It's not just a plant. Well, I mean, it's, it's how you use it, and you were abusing the shit out of it because I wanted to, I wanted to peek myself. I wanted to just really see. Let me just point out what he just said is really a drug. It's not just a plant, bro. Many people out here still believe it's just a plant, and you can't get addicted, and ain't no withdrawals when you quit. I just got a comment like yesterday. Somebody commented under one of my videos from like a month or two ago, and they were saying you lost me a weed addiction. Basically, they're not aware that there's a there's possibility you can get addicted to weed. Like so many people, I know y'all see my videos and maybe some other videos about quitting weed, weed withdrawals, but it's really, really billions of people out here who ain't never heard of weed addiction, who ain't never went through weed withdrawals until they try to quit and then they're experiencing it now. You know what I'm saying? When I was smoking weed, I never heard of weed withdrawals or weed addiction, but once I quit and I felt, and I experienced that myself, I started meeting other people, I started attracting videos, I just started attracting groups on Reddit, I started finding out, okay, there's a lot of people out here going through weed withdrawals and weed addiction. You know what I'm saying? So don't get it twisted, y'all. Still, many people out here who going through weed withdrawals or ain't never heard of weed withdrawals. So shout out to Logan Paul for making this video and just spreading awareness because there's really people out here that's going through it or they're going, or they're going to go through it in the future. And this video can help them out. Let's see what else? Can yeah, do. it's, it's kind of like, I explained it to my mom like this, man. Like you have a hammer, you can build yourself a house, or you can smack yourself in the face with it. Well, why don't you do both and see how it feels? And, I mean, if you're high, it'll probably feel good. <laughs> how much of your life is based on your parents and analogies that exist with your parents? Because I, 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 well, that's amazing. All and by the way, and I think that's probably why you're so positive. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, but that's amazing. I guess because pretty much every the story I look up to goes back to your parents somewhat. I never thought a day would come where I would be listening to my friend complain about the pain of withdrawing from weed. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I meant to, I meant to, I, I meant Did to talk to you. you not read chapter 11? I know, I, I, I He said it! He, he didn't say it! it. Don't fucking I say didn't it. fucking say it! He said I didn't say it! He said, listen, I just <laughs> bought Lana some fucking nice <laughs> shit. Bro, I'll I'm buy sorry. you some shit. Sorry, that's so why I brought it up, because I wanted to hear 
what like oh, an actual really? withdrawal sounds like. Yeah, or feels like. I had this conversation with her last night. She wanted to know more about the withdrawals. I spent about ten days after I gave up uh, methadone, Xanax, prescribed Xanax, heroin, cocaine, and alcoholism all, all, all at the all same this? time. At the same fucking time. Jeez, my. That take willpower right there to quit all them drugs at the same time. You know he had a strong reason why he was quitting. But I want to say something real quick. All them drugs he just named, bro. All y'all that smoke weed out there, be mindful of, you know what I'm saying, other drugs coming to your vicinity. Because it's like, once you start smoking weed, people feel like it's okay to bring other stuff around. Whether it's lean, pills, etc. They feel like they can just bring any any type of drug around, bro, just because you smoke weed. And I know y'all heard it saying before, weed is a gateway drug. I think that's facts, you know what I'm saying? When you start smoking weed, you start getting high, you start looking for other ways to get high. I'm not saying you're gonna stick with those other things, but you just start getting a little curious and trying it out. Like, I wonder how this gonna feel. I wonder how this gonna feel. My favorite rapper talking about this, I wonder how this gonna feel, you know what I'm saying? So be mindful of that, y'all. And don't be afraid to say no, you know what I'm saying? You might find yourself in a situation, you know, like my cousin told me recently, like he was smoking weed with his homies and they invited some people and they started doing coke inside the room. You know what I'm saying? Just you being in that environment of just smoking weed, it's gonna attract other drugs into your vicinity. So just be aware about that and don't be afraid to say no, y'all. All right? Sweating, shitting, throwing up, with wait, 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 wait. hitting shitting. my door. Shitting your pants? Yes. Really? Bro, it, just imag imagine you have coronavirus times like a thousand. That's what a, that's what a withdrawal from an actual. Wait, but I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be disrespectful at all. This is a serious question. Yeah. Why shit your pants? Because you lose control of your bodies. What drug made you do that? Uh, opiates. Getting withdrawals from opiates. Okay. You, you, imagine, imagine you're in a. I can't believe you got to this. Imagine you're in a. Ball. I can't believe if you go to Amazon, you could buy this right now and know <laughs> the depth of it. <laughs> imagine you're in a fetal position for a week with with no control over anything. Are you in pain? Severe pain. It's it's a flu that will not go away. That is that is a ten out of ten. How long does this last? five to seven maybe ten days when i was I, I i will say when i was like sitting there in bed awake and by the way all i was doing was sitting there awake yeah, i wasn't yeah. like fucking shitting my pants i i i did say to myself you know you're being a pussy bro. saying that bad like mike's mike's been through the ringer but but it is withdrawal. but it is worth noting and you, and you brought it up for a good reason that there is evidence to support that there are some physical and, and uh, psychological withdrawals from marijuana. I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people play that down. That's what I'm saying. That's I've what I'm heard saying. so many people talk about it, and, and I, you know, obviously, I gave up smoking weed and went back and forth when I was 16. Yeah, many people do downplay, you know, weed withdrawals because it's not so common. But yeah, y'all need some help quitting weed. Definitely get on my channel, my quitting weed playlist. Also get on Reddit. There's some groups on Reddit called Leaves and Quitting Weed. Just find you some support because many people, when you tell them you're quitting weed, you're having a hard time, you're struggling, they might downplay it. So don't be afraid to reach out to people online, whether it's my channel, other YouTube channels, or Reddit. Just try to find some support if you need it, all right? 16, 17, 18. So I remember it a little bit, but insomnia, usually you're knocked out from the weed. Lack of appetite, usually you have a huge appetite because of the weed. And there's been a lot of people, I think Rogan's talked about this at some point. There's a lot of people who give up weed and they start to feel exactly what you're feeling. I say yeah. stay in there, Chan. Go to Marijuana Anonymous. And go to an MA. Well, it doesn't exist. Well, I'm a little, I'm a little pretty headstrong. Like when I cut out cold turkey, like I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I love when he talks about this because then he brings up video games. Watch, go ahead. Video games I used great. to be addicted to video games. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if y'all heard that last part, but he was talking about Marijuana Anonymous and he said, I don't think there is one. I don't know if there is one. Let me know down below. Is there a Marijuana Anonymous? Have you been to it or whatever the case? Let me know down below. Somebody else might be looking for that. But yeah, man. So I hope y'all got something from this video. I hope y'all understand that it is some weed withdrawals. If you're new to my channel, bro, people going through weed withdrawals every day. Can't eat, can't sleep, irritation, all type of stuff be happening when you quit smoking weed and you was a heavy smoker. So yeah, shout out to Logan Paul for sharing this. You know, he got a big platform. I'm pretty sure people out there in a similar situation as him. And his video helped them feel like they're not alone. You know what I'm saying? They favor influence of Logan Paul going through it. So it makes them feel like they're not alone. And he also getting through it. As far as I know, he getting through it. So it helps people believe they can get through it as well. So shout out to Logan Paul, man. Like I said, he couldn't eat, can't sleep. Man, I got videos on that. If y'all need some help, you can't eat or can't sleep after quitting weed. Check out my video, can't eat, can't sleep after quitting weed. And yeah, check out my quitting weed playlist if you need some other tips and advice. One-on-one -on -one consultation down below if you need some personal advice. 
Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and Patreon for more videos and contents. Make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe if you're new. I'll holler at y'all in the next video, man. Peace out.